here at the United States Capitol. And Tom, I have never heard anyone give a more masterful presentation on the history of this great building than you, you did the other morning here when we were together at a breakfast meeting. And I asked you then, I'm going to ask you again now, if you can tell us a little bit about the cornerstone of this building that was laid by none other than President George Washington at the time. Can you give us a little history on that? And then we'll talk about what's inside that cornerstone. Sure, absolutely. Well, the excavation of the Capitol began in August of 1793, mid-August, around August 15th. Uh, within a few days, the building commissioners, there were three of them, realized that they hadn't really established a cornerstone ceremony. And they were concerned that because this was a new city built from the ground up, mostly pastoral grounds, that to give this new city more validity and credibility, that they wanted a cornerstone ceremony. And the one person who could bring the prestige of his office and the power of his personality who else? was George Washington. Who else? And so George Washington laying that cornerstone really helped, again, give credibility and a sense of permanence to this new city. And it was really quite a ceremony, I understand, That's from correct. reading even some newspaper accounts. That's right. Uh, several weeks later, September 18, 1793, George Washington proceeded across the Potomac River, river with an entourage and then uh, got to the got to the Capitol Hill later that morning. Uh, and uh, George Washington himself laid the cornerstone. And it's near here. That's right. Here, the southeast corner. That's what the plate uh, said on the, uh, the silver plate that was engraved that would have been laid in the but trench. But it would have been a different uh, actual wall of the building That's correct, back then. Because, it was... uh, in 1958 through 1962, actually, President Eisenhower laid a cornerstone not too far from here to allow for this extension of the Capitol to occur 32 feet in front of the original facade and where that original cornerstone was. So this would be. looks exactly like that exactly. wall, but it was 32 feet beyond here. Exactly. And this here. was done in white marble as opposed to sandstone, which would have been painted white to make it so look like So they laid that cornerstone. Laid the cornerstone. It was quite a festive ceremony. That's right. And, and let's talk a little bit about what's inside that cornerstone. Well, I think our folks would I, really I need be to interested clarify. in this. In subsequent cornerstones, usually there's some sort of time capsule put into those stones there. And we do know what was put into the cornerstone that Eisenhower laid in others. Because we never found that cornerstone, they can't say exactly what might have been laid with it or inside it. Uh, but it would have been a Bible at the time there, newspaper accounts. The historical record does show there's likely a Bible in there. There. That's correct. Very That's interesting correct. little yes. factoid no, there. No. And you heard it from somebody who's a real authority here. By the way, if you haven't been to the Capitol Visitor Center, you've got to make a visit to this magnificent facility. And Tom has a big hand in that. He's the communications officer for the Visitor Center. Tom, thanks My so pleasure. much My for pleasure, having Reverend. us here today. My and pleasure. thanks for all that information. No problem. Walking Thank encyclopedia. <laughs> Thank you.